Hey, it's Brigzar. In this video, I'm going to give you an update of what I've been doing that's taken up all my time and why I've been kind of slow about making videos. Uh, been working on getting my whole collection organized, and since I have a full time job, it's kind of going slow. But today, I for the first time got most of my stack owns in place. Uh, it's been about eight months that the stack homes have been kind of stored in another room in this house where I couldn't really even get to them because they're all stacked together with the drawers I couldn't open. So now I got most of them here. I still got these on the floor I need to attach to a wall. Uh, and the wall is behind those boxes. <laughs> so I got to move those boxes before I can put these on the wall. And when I had the store before, I had these stack ons four high, but I decided to go three high. I've kind of supported them with this two by four. It's not the most secure thing, but I tacked them to the wall, and I actually hold them pretty good. I'm probably the weight of them settles down on the two by four, which is actually not attached to anything. It's just floating there. But by the time you put all the weight on it, and then the tack, you know, to the sheetrock. I wanted to put anchors, but um, the sheetrock is glued to the concrete, and I'd have to actually drill into the concrete, and I don't really want to do that. So uh, they're just tacked into the actual sheetrock, and gravity in that is holding it. <laughs> but the thing I like about it is uh, I had this lip on the wall, which the when you add that and the width of the stack on it's just about 10 inches, a little bit under 10 inches, so it's room for a base plate. And it's 190 inches from one end to the other, so I have room for 19 base plates up there on top of the stack ons. And I think what I'll do is I'll use it to display sets that maybe won't go in my city. And you're saying, well, those are sets that you would put in your city. Well, this is kind of to test it out. Um, the stack ons, I mean, the uh, modulars. We're in the floor. I wanted to get them out of the floor while I'm doing all this. and So I put them up here on top of my stack ons. All 10 modulars and the Vestas uh, windmill. <laughs> so I think it looks pretty neat. And so I have to decide you know, what other sets I would have up here besides the modulars. Because the modulars would go in the city. But being able to put 19, um, that is pretty cool. I don't think I'll put my... Um, sculptures like Statue of Liberty like this Vestas it goes up way too high and you see where the sheetrock ends it's actually I'm gonna eventually put a drop ceiling and it'll come down below that it'll actually be probably where the top of this um, the town hall is there's gonna be a drop ceiling there I'll be doing that later but so anyway <laughs> I got 36 stack ons on this wall it's 12 stack ons that way I got about five inches on the end, either end and right there is my empty drawers instead of leaving them hanging out I set them over there in this corner now when I put the stack ons over here my goal was to have the bigger drawers on the bottom to prevent bending over as much when you're picking an order if I decide to open my store again but in order to do that I had to reorganize the drawers and I got to the first three and I realized this is not worth the time. So this section here of four by three, 12 stack ons took me eight hours <laughs> and it still did not um, accomplish what I wanted. So I just, I gave up uh, when I got there and then I ended up having to make uh, I couldn't, I was trying to do the math to figure out how to get to where I didn't have to shuffle the drawers around. And this one started in 631, and I ended up having three drawers that are six, number 630. And I just, 630.1, 630.2, 630.3. Um, and it's, I just, oh, it was so frustrating trying to organize it. Because what it was, it was a mix of 60 drawer, and 18 drawer, and 39 drawer stack ons. And I was trying to make it 60 drawer, 60 drawer, 39, like that, going. And so I was moving the drawers. It started off like, okay, this is not too bad. I'm just going to move the drawers and move the labels. And after a while, you know, having to change it in brick link and move the labels, 
it was monotonous and yeah so that I spent all of my time and actually once I finally got it to where this is the drawer that everything was already the way it was it only took like five minutes <laughs> to finish hanging those so I spent eight hours on these <laughs> and five minutes on those so yeah it was a mistake I should have just hung them all up I, I would have all of them up if I had done that so basically I got these 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 more. And I'm probably going to put them over here. I'm, I've got to move those boxes to see because that wall's kind of contoured and it's got uh, the lip a little bit lower. So i got to figure out uh, how many I can fit in there. I don't even know for sure. But most of these are empty, so I don't have to necessarily put all of them there. Uh, I think these are the ones, these six are the ones left that are going to have some pieces in them. So my recommendation, if you've numbered your drawers and you want to reorganize them, don't do it. Just leave them the way you got it, even if it doesn't look pretty. Like, you know, there's an 18 drawer in, in between some 60 drawers. It, it ain't worth it. <laughs> like, I wanted to have all the big drawers on the bottom. And actually, you know, what's kind of funny is that I got four right there there's one two three four they're already on the bottom anyway <laughs> so i don't know just the joys of trying to organize now this is uh what i've been doing today so i didn't do any other videos so i thought i'd give you an update here with this and i've probably gone on long about too long about this uh, do you want to see what's in a box I mean, I got like, got all those boxes. There's a, there's more boxes than that, but um, I had a couple of disasters with the Jurassic World sets and my lunar lander. Some stuff fell on it. Oh, and I did drop. Um, I got my stack on with my personal collection of parts. It fell over. That was nice. All the pieces went everywhere. Uh, too bad I wasn't filming when that happened. But see, some of the stuff you've probably already seen, so don't know if I should show you any of those. Maybe I should have somebody pick a box. And I got these boxes here. Hmm. What can I show you? All right, we'll go with the green container. That's what I chose this time. Oops. Open this thing up. See if there's anything interesting in here. We have Super Set. To me, this is a castle set. It's got a little village there. It's got the little watchtower on the end there. This is from the, like the 60s or something. Early 70s, maybe. We got an Atlantis set. We have a Belleville set that I never built. Space Police that we did build. Uh-oh. There it is. See, I told you we built it. And then the Salon 232 Salon. Did I review that? I can't remember. It's got these girls that look like twins on there. Oh, look, a juice bar. This is the... This is the one I actually built a while back and probably reviewed. And then uh, Walmart had them for $4.18. And then the ones I hid, it ended up backfiring on me. I went back to those Walmarts to get those, and they had raised them to $21. So the $4.18 did not last, at least in my area. I love these Belleville sets. They're kind of got accessories in there. Television. What are they watching? This is before all these American Idol things. <laughs> oh, this is great. I gotta build this. Yeah, well, that's why I gotta hurry up and get this basement organized so I can get it to building all this stuff and showing you this stuff. Kid is really thinking seriously about this set. Don't know if everything's here or not. It is a cool super set complete with motor. And I think you have to, I think this is one of those sets you got to kind of build it 
by looking at the pictures. I don't know if they had the instructions to build that. I wish they did. I don't know. I haven't really investigated it that much. Oh no. Whoops. Yeah, I just put all this stuff back on top of the box. I still haven't built this pirate set. This is this pirate set. I know I already did a haul when I got it, but that's a pretty good deal uh, for what you get. Under 857 pieces and a bunch of minifigures. And then this pirate's not such a good deal. Juniors. Alright, so anyway, that's what's been going on down here in the basement. If you want me to do this where I show the boxes, um, I will kind of do it anyway. Because I'm going to eventually get everything organized where I know where most everything is. And, then, and the first key to that was getting the stack-ons in the place that I needed to put them. And then we'll go from there. I'm going to be... This area where all this junk is piled up, there will be tables here and then storage under the tables. I'm just going to be expanded from behind the curtain to here. So, that is enough for this video. If you've never watched Brickzar before and you're wondering, what is this guy doing showing you all this junk? This is what Lego collectors do. They have to organize their stuff. They have to figure out where to display stuff. So be sure to subscribe. We'll be doing more videos like this. We do reviews, hauls, talk about the deals we get, talk about the things we find on Bricklink and eBay. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and check back later. We will eventually be doing city updates. I gotta get this organized first. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This is Brickzar.